I hope that you guys are doing very, 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 very well tonight, today. Um, yeah. Welcome to the hive if you're new, and if you're back, welcome back. So, today's video, today's video, today's video, um, is a video that I think is going to be really interesting, and it, honestly, <laughs> it's an excuse for me to do it for myself, and I thought we could kind of do it together. So, I came across um, this on Instagram. It's called the Ikigai. 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 It's a Japanese philosophy that uh, is meant to help um, you and I to kind of like figure out what our purpose in life is. So. Even if you're doing freaking fantastic, I think this could be really fun to do. Um, this is a practical way of kind of figuring out uh, what to be doing in your life. So if you're confused, stick around. And if you're not, like, see if you're on the right path, I guess. Um, I do encourage. This is going to be an interactive video, um, which I hope you guys love as much as I do. Hearing your guys' like thoughts and stuff in the comments, so feel free to grab a uh, paper or a pen, or uh, if it's easier for you, you can go on your notes app and you can, if you're on your phone, you can like look, watch, listen to this video while you're on your notes app. So, um, gather your materials. I'm gonna eat a Cheeto. <laughs> sense might be uh, 
sailing, writing poetry, rock climbing, singing in a rock band, reading historical uh, novels, spending leisure time with friends, etc. So anything that brings you joy that you just find that you are just really happy doing, that's what's going to go in the circle. At minimum, you must write three. Obviously, write as many as you, you know, think might do the trick, but let, let's stick to like our top three things. I think they'll help. Okay, so grab your um, pencils and uh, let's just write, okay? stay tuned for the end of the video because I'll share all my stuff but um, I'm just gonna kind of like go through everything and I will also tell like why this is all important but we're just gonna go through each section okay okay so um, let's move on okay so the next section is to be ready so you're right in like the next circle over here you're right what you're uh, what you're great at doing so what you're great at doing so the sphere um, includes anything that you are uh, particularly good at, such as skills you've learned, hobbies you've pursued, talents um, you've shown since an early age, etc. It's what you're good at. Um, and it might be, for example, like playing the piano. It might be like being empathetic. It might be public speaking, sports, <laughs> brain surgery, or painting portraits. This fear encompasses talents or capabilities, whether or not you are passionate about them. Uh, whether the world needs them or whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's basically like things that you think you're uh, innately good at. And I think a thing that might help is like, what, are th what do people tell you that you're really good at? Um, even from a young age, like what's the, those things that you've been really good at? Okay, so we're going to rate up to three things, okay? And...
so obviously write as many as you want, but remember, we're, we're thinking about our top three, okay? So maybe like go through what you just wrote and, and just star or, or think about what your top three is. Um, we can also do this at the end. When we do all the circles, we'll do our top threes, but just keep that in mind, okay? the video if you're not done but we're gonna move on so that's in this circle the next circle that's gonna be across the next circle that's gonna be across that's gonna be across is what the world needs what the world needs what the world needs what the world needs so um yeah so uh what the world needs so in this section you're gonna write uh the world uh in this in this what we're talking about um might mean uh, humanity as a whole um it also might mean like a small community that you are in touch with or anything in between so think about like it could be your neighborhood it could be uh the planet <laughs> it's basically your outside environment where we live our environment think of that okay your environment that you live in um what the world needs it might be based on your impressions or uh needs expressed by others so it might be what you think the world needs or it might be what you what other people have told you they need right um the world's needs might include skilled nursing uh clean water home heating election day volunteers or improved police training it might be let's think of some more it might be uh you know to save the environment to help the homeless to um to encourage <laughs> shoplifting like yeah uh this domain of ikigai uh connects most explicitly with other people doing good for them beyond your own needs so what's something that the world needs you don't have to do it but what does the world need let's just brainstorm right now what would make the world better right now in 2023 and let's write it right now okay and go section is uh, this dimension of the diagram it also refers to the world and society at large um, and that involves what someone else what someone else someone else someone else is willing to pay you um, for or in parentheses what the market will bear um, 
you might be passionate about writing poetry or very good at rock climbing, but this does not necessarily mean you get paid for it, right? So um, whether you can get paid for your passions or talents depends on factors such as the state of the economy, whether your passions and talents are in demand, etc. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to write down what you can get paid for. And as you noticed, um, they're across from each other, right? So what you love to do and then what you get paid to do can be at polar opposites, just as what you're good at and what the world needs can be at polar opposites as well. So let's take a little bit and we're going to write about what we can get paid for, whether you get paid for that now or think about like high in demand, you know, jobs. Okay, and go. And it doesn't have to be correlated. Like, these are all different circles, so don't even think about connections yet. Okay, just write down whatever you can get paid for. This is tricky, but begin to think about like what pays the most, right? Like what's an actual job that you, I think like right now could, could get paid, but also you can dream a little bit, right? Um, but let's like, yeah, well, I don't know, dream, dream, it's okay. Um, we are going to wrap this up though, right? Okay, so pause this if you're not done, otherwise we're going to continue. So. So basically, we're going to see, um, we are going to go and find our connections. So as you can tell, there's multiple connections. So uh, we're going to start with the connection between um, well, I guess, ready? Okay, this is what we're going to do. I know we have a lot of things. We're going to now go through each circle and we'll just spend like uh, 30 seconds, you're just gonna circle or star your top three for each one. What are the three, you know, things that you love the most? What are the three things that you're really great at doing? What are the three things that the world really needs right now? And what are three things that um, you can be paid for? Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna circle mine. Mm -hmm.
as you go along, feel free to use that as well. I just did that as well. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. And, you know, like, for things that you're great at, you're great at all those things, but what are you feel like you're great at right now? Like, what actually you feel like there's hierarchies for what you feel like you're better at than others? Same with, like, what the world needs and all that. Let's do like what you actually could get paid for, but also like, I guess, best, <laughs> yeah, best paying, I guess. So between what you love, so you can see what you love and what you're great at doing, look at your top three and we're going to see if there's any common ground between them and we're going to write that in, okay? See if there's any connections. So for instance, mine, if you need help, fine right now is like, I was in between, something I think I love is um, being with friends, uh, connecting to people, making people feel things. Those are, those are the three things that I love to do. What I feel like I'm great at is talking to strangers, working with kids, and uh, people feeling included. So my middle ground was uh, between what I love and what you're good at. I said talking and connecting with said making people feel included now let's do what you love and what the world needs from uh, what the world needs and uh, what you can be paid for, what are your three, what's your like, common ground, and remember, feel free to like connect the bridge. So you have A and B, you could do like A, B, right? Like how can we mold these together? So what the world needs and uh, what you can be paid for.
this might be hard, right? Take your time. section of uh, what you're great at doing and uh, what you can be paid for and you're doing so well I know this is taking a little bit but get excited this is all gonna be worth it I promise so what you're great at doing and make the connection of what you can be paid for Okay, great job. Okay, so now that we did all those, we're getting so close. We have these four sections left. So we're gonna do what's in common between, now it's gonna be like three circles, so, um, and you know how you have wrote right in those sections more in, in depth, right? These sections, now you're gonna find the middle ground. So what you wrote for, uh, you know, what you love and, and what the world needs. We wrote in that, now we're gonna add that up as well. Oh gosh, this is confusing. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna look this up. Or actually, it's gonna be easier. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna write and find the middle. So out of all these four that you just wrote, what is the middle ground? like I'm just gonna write a star and then I'm gonna start at the bottom and write it out. What is the connection for all of them? It's gonna be the, the, the combination of what you love to do, uh, what the world needs, what you're great at doing, and uh, what you can be paid for. And feel free to take a second. This might be a little challenging. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So, this middle, and I think you're getting excited, is going to be what you're, I'm going to tell you what each section means. So, what's very cool 
is, and I'll, I'll have this, I'll either link it in this video or I'll, I'll have the link down below, but, okay, so let's go through, and I can talk to you guys, if you stay with me, I'll tell you what I wrote, but, um, so you already know what these sections are, right, those, that's what we talked about, these sections actually mean something, so, 